feeling like I really need a pickup. Grab my guitar and a bottle of some liquor. Every day is like a different type of zone. I really love it when I can be all alone. I ain't happy, they left. I don't need nobody else. I don't need nobody's help. I feel waving by myself. Oh, I'm such a loner. I'm happy when I'm lonely. Them problems I don't bone them. This week has been so long, yeah. What's up, YouTube? Mr. Williams back with another reaction. Ozark. Episode 2, Season 1. How y'all doing? Now, I must say, this show is off the fucking chain. Off the fucking chain, man. Off the chain. Um, what make a good show is the actors. You know what I'm saying? Now, I talk a lot of shit about some actors. Like, I talk shit about Skylar. And I'm talking shit about Wendy. But that... What makes the show? You know what I'm saying? They have to wind you in. You you have to feel the characters. You know what I'm saying? And these characters, just like Breaking Bad, they you feel it. You know what I'm saying? Like you actually feel that shit. You know what I'm saying? So the characters on here are phenomenal. You know what I'm saying? Don't get it twisted. The character that plays Wendy is fucking phenomenal. Just like the character on Breaking Bad, Wendy is phenomenal. Alright? So don't get it twisted. Alright? These characters are off the chain. And the lead character, Marty, man, I've been watching that character since I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? I told y'all. And he's doing a damn good job. You know what I'm saying? Damn good job. So, money laundering. So, what happened was, and I'm pretty sure y'all already don't seen this. I'm just doing a recap. Uh, Dale, Del Rio, Dale, I guess he's the head of the cartel, the cartel, and he was missing $5 million, all right, so he showed up and, and come to find out it was actually $8 million, all right, so he smoked just about everybody in this bitch, you know what I'm saying, and Marty begged for his life, said he can wash uh, what was it? Five hundred million in five years, and you know what I'm saying. So Dale spared, spared his life, you know. But, but you're going to have to move, all right? You're going to have to move and take your whole damn family. And five years, I want all my fucking money. In forty eight hours, I want my eight million. And if you don't have my money. I'm going to kill your whole damn family, all right? Your daughter, your wife, everybody. You know what I'm saying? Not in that order. You know what I'm saying? This motherfucker is straight raw. He ain't fucking bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I love this fucking character, man. This motherfucker's off the goddamn chain. You know what I'm saying? I love this fucking character. Straight fucking raw. You know what I mean? But I like when, I like when Tail told him, let me tell you something. If I ride by your house and if I don't see a for sale sign up in that bitch, I'ma mark your ass. God damn. <laughs> anyway, he went and got all the money. He paid him like seven mil, so he was short. So anyway, they made a deal, you know what I'm saying, how to recoup it, whatever. Sell in his vein, whatever. Then he gonna rent his own shit back to him for thousand for a thousand dollars a month. <laughs> I think that's what he say. He gonna rent. He gonna rent his. He gonna sell his vein. Then he gonna rent it back to him for a thousand dollars a month. <laughs> I love. I love this dude, man. I love this dude. Anyway, so the family packed up and they head. They head uh, to uh, the spot. All right. Uh, I do not like his wife. Okay, let this be known. All right. So, I know y'all gonna be typing your cat, your comments and shit. Oh, uh, Mr. Williams, oh, somebody hurt you. Somebody hurt you. You just, uh, you just a feminist. Oh, uh, you just hate women. Blah 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 blah. 
Shut the fuck up. That's wrong. It's just fucking wrong. This fucking bitch was fucking the lawyer. Then she went and withdraw all the fucking money. <laughs> Have y'all been paying attention? That bitch is super dirty. Oh my God. Then she lied and said she was at the grocery store. When, what, on Mondays? And then Thursdays, she was meeting the lawyer, getting banged the fuck out and giving score. Man, come on, man. Come on. I can't believe Marty spared her life because Dale threw her fucking lover off the fucking building. That shit was so fucking gangster and hilarious. If ugly, you will lose. I will lower it up. I will dig in. <laughs> Damn! Anyway, Dale was like, what would my father do? What would my father do? Don't you know he said fire? And I get it. I get it. For you type your comments. Oh, that's the mother of his kids. That's the mother of his kids. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Let's move on. Let's see how much damage this trick do throughout this fucking season. All right? Okay? They already don't... They don't put it in stone. This chick, this chick is a troublemaker. She is not a fucking asset. This chick is a liability. Big liability. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, y'all, let's get into this shit. I'm enjoying this motherfucking show. You know what I'm saying? This is episode two, Ozark. All right? I love y'all. Subscribe, like, comment. Hang with your boy, Mr. Williams. All right? And please, don't leave no fucking spoilers. Let me figure this shit out. All right? Make it more fun. Alright? Y'all know I'm a fucking trip. Alright? Let's get into this shit. Love y'all. Ozark, episode two. Here we go. A family is like a small business. And with a small business, at times, there comes transition. a bit of a transition. Thank you, Wendy. And, and whenever a small business transitions, it's important to stay lean and to not overextend. So when did the Marriott become such a stretch? Well, your father, he's just saying that we have to prioritize our spending. That's all, Sean. That's That's he's not saying anything. Uh, so today, while your mom is buying us a new house, uh, you two are to plant yourselves here. That is your job. Everything we have of value is in that room. Really? Yeah. You're not going to be honest with us, either of you? What are we doing here? Enough already, Christ! Sorry, man. We're just finishing up breakfast. Thank you. Charlotte, little firecracker, ain't she? And I'd love to not have to turn the room upside down to find the clicker. That wasn't fun. Love you both. What's our story for the kids? What do you mean? Well, th they see this this polite dance that we're doing in front of them. They they hear the constant edge in your voice. Well, we could tell them the truth, Wendy. How would that be? Oh, you know what, Marty? Before you get too comfortable up there on your cross and have your pity party, let me just let me just jog your memory for a minute. There was an innocent man who was murdered. Innocent Again, man. He was a good man. <laughs> oh my he God! Married. <laughs> good things in this world, not like Bruce. Oh my god! Barry was a father. He had two grown sons. He oh never my met them god! I know he loved them. And he was thrown off his balcony. In the ugly. You will lose. I will lower it up. I will dig in. For what? <laughs> <laughs> people cheat they have sex with people who they aren't married to it happens it's not unique I mean that's some real shit I was unhappy you're not exactly blameless in this I mean it's real but still I also want you to find one as nice as possible but as cheap as possible 
I want you to think Starter Home. We got twenty thousand. How about I get a divorce? Just twenty. So please do not sign anything without talking to me first. And we are not husband and wife anymore. We're just business partners. And our jobs to raise those kids. Okay, now you're talking some real shit. Right, that I share some blame for this. I should have caught Bruce. I was in charge of the numbers. I should have seen it coming. But my mind was elsewhere, Wendy. You know, it's Saturday night, and your your Foxy boxing or your Zumba or whatever the hell it is, it cost me a few hundred dollars every single month. It ended two hours ago, and there's no Wendy. Why does she get so many texts every night? Why does she have to leave the room to make a phone call? I wonder who's fucking my wife. So that's my bad. And no, I, I don't forget, Gary, I don't forget how you emptied our bank accounts when you knew I needed that money, Wendy. You knew I needed it. Welcome to hell, motherfucker! <laughs> and I doubt very, very much that you did that by yourself, that you did that in a vacuum. So my memory's crystal clear. I was there for all of it. In fact, the satisfying sound of your lover smacking the pavement is the only thing that gets me to sleep every night. so much restraint I mean better than Chris Rock better than Chris Rock not only did she bit smack him she Mike Tyson his ass Because he got great joy of her lover hitting the pavement like a fucking watermelon. I will lower it up. I will dig in. I mean, she was spitting some real shit. People do cheat. That's part of life. Unfortunately, people do each other wrong. All right. But the way she was going on about her lover, talking to her own husband that's taking care of her kids, paying for her shit. She haven't used her master's degree since Charlotte was born. And she's a fucking big teenager now. So that's years that he been putting in work for this chick. No, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. He was a great man. He he was a beautiful man. He helped people. He he loved his kids. Wow. Wow. Fucking. It's one thing that I love he said to her. We're not married. Okay? We're just partners. We're just partners. So I like that about him. I'm glad he he's not a complete simp, like a complete idiot. Like act like it didn't happen and just like, you know, I'm glad he made that establish. Okay, we're not even married. We're Partners, because she do know a lot of shit. They married, they got kids. And I guess it's going to be like a Scholar and Walter White situation. You know what I'm saying? When Scholar got down at the end and started helping laundering the money, the car wash and all that shit. So I guess. But I don't know how long I could take this fucking Wendy bitch. I don't know how long. I'm letting you know now. 
I don't know how long I can take this shit. Hello? Excuse me, is there anybody here? Oh, yeah. Don't be shy. You know what to do. Come on, baby. It's all for you. Just gobble it up. Oh, yeah. Get after it. Oh, my God! Ooh. Here, Hi. too? Hey, um, I'm Sam Dermody. Uh, sorry, it's, you know, people are out for lunch right now. Um, but... Sorry, it keeps me awake when nobody's... I could give a fuck. I need a house. Get uh, yourself yeah. together, give your girl some water, I'll meet you outside. Yeah, you got it. Did I tell y'all people are fucking nuts? I mean, my dog, like, licks me all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like any other dog, you know. They love me. But I'm not going to go out my way and get a jar of peanut butter and put on my feet and get off on this shit. Thank you. She traipses out a bunch of covered folks mad over what I still couldn't tell you. Police, I think. Did she say colored folks? <laughs> <and my folks, laughs> Licenses, deeds, delinquent taxes, bankruptcy, Colored judgments, folks. property titles, liens, and plat maps. All public record. If you need any copies, let me know. Ten cents a page. Yeah, thank you. I'll be busy. Tell me again what it is you're doing. I am an angel investor. I help turn around struggling businesses. You intend to make money off of businesses that aren't making any? In a roundabout way. Hmm. Let's get some ice on that lip. Mm, yeah. You gonna be looking like them colored folks. <laughs> well, I would control the finances, uh, the accounting, investment oversight, stuff like that. I would get to recoup 100% of my investment. I'd get 2.5% of some of the net profits. And, sir, you are delinquent on, on your property taxes, and you, you got those, those those tenants that are suing you. I think there's three of them, yeah? Maybe this could work for both of us. Plus, I'll tell you what, I bet it would feel a lot better if I wasn't just an investor and I was also a client. Uh, I'm looking for storage space myself, so... Um, if that's a unit right there, I will take that big one and I will deal with whatever's on the inside of it for how about 75 bucks a month. What do you say? 100. 100. You're going to spend money to make money. Is that how they win? That's what I said, yeah. All right. Court pays me to store evidence. Nobody claims it. I inherit it. Where are you going? What about our business arrangement? arrangement you rent storage for me end of story oh come on now your operating costs are fixed sir we could invest in stackable storage and refrigerated units I'm an old and... dog new tricks don't appeal to me rent's doing the first skipper i'm an old dog too Well, they in the deep, 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 deep south. Manager wanted me to make sure you still had one of these in your room. They were all set. Sure. It's chock full of uh, clever-sounding, overly judgmental one-liners. 
Yeah, look, Wyatt, is it? I really don't want to have to get you fired today, okay? If you could, I'd have to thank you. This job's my old man's idea. Something about calluses and character? Yeah, while well, you're blowing leaves, not hiding in, Frank. I doubt that that argument resonates with a Baptist Kansas City lawyer, but give it a go. Dad's a lawyer? Yeah. We've got a uh, summer home out here. Uh, well, I'm going to Mizzou in the fall. Dad's not happy about my major, so he's hoping I'll have some like, come to Jesus summer and switch. What about you? We're from Chicago. My dad's in finance, but clearly he's just cheap. Anyway, <clears throat> three and I are going wakeboarding a little bit if you guys want to come along. Leaving in like 20 minutes. Better than sitting around here all day. It's very common for someone to start a business simply because they have an affinity for the product, you know what I'm saying? And, and they do not necessarily have a very strong business model. It, it happens all the time, so... I like titties, so I open a titty bar. That's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, we're a gentleman's club. Not sure what you call it around here, but it's... Uh, I'm calling it a titty bar. Okay. You think you can do better? Well, I think what the any fuck? business could... No. 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 No, no, no. Benefit from a set of fresh eyes, and my research tells me that you have the only um, titty bar. Titty bar, sure, in, in the lake area, and you still, you still seem to struggle, and, and, and I'm wondering what you could do. I know the struggle's real. I know inflation off the fucking charts, okay? I know rents went up, gas went up, cost of living. I know it's hard out here. It's hard out here for a pimp. But this chick is nine months pregnant. I mean, I can see the goddamn baby head hanging out her ass. You know what I'm saying? I can see the baby hanging out her ass. And these thirsty motherfuckers are right there up front. Like, yeah, sure I can. Of course I can. Um, yeah. I'd, I'd need to obviously recoup 100% of my investment as soon as possible, and then I'd have 25 percent Sorry? My cut. I'm washing your money. What you doing, ain't it? I don't, I don't think you really Hey! Can. Don't you blame me, Mr. Bird. Got me a real big temper. You do not want to see it get away from me. I'm done here. Twenty-five hundred square feet, not to mention three hundred and fifty feet of lake front. It's a nice house. You got two sea docks. No way I can afford this. Hey Sam. Hey buddy. Oh my God! He go Hector. Under your budget. We got another Hector. I'm thinking about throwing his wife down there. He got some balls standing on the cliff like that. He got some balls. Watch your goddamn kids out in the boat. Not going to end well. I don't drive much, but when I do, I don't want to be hemmed in. So wait, you want to remain in the house? Oh, Sam. I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't have time to explain that to her. Um, I've got a bad heart. <laughs> I need a new one. But I'm 82, so I'm not getting one. 
My cardiologist tells me that I've got a year, 18 months tops. He's a dothead, but other than that, I've no reason to doubt the man. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm selling the place under the condition that I'd be allowed to live here until I die. I know that guy from somewhere. Every dog has his day. Amal? I told him. Didn't make any sense. Clipping you when we had you working for us, he wouldn't listen. Hot plate in the fridge, I can move downstairs. Any luck, we can go weeks without seeing each other. Well, there it is. I understand it's an unusual condition, and I've priced the property to reflect that. How many kids do you have? Two. Girl and a boy. Uh, how old's the girl? Fifteen. <laughs> Why? We're in a septic tank here, not a sewer. <laughs> tank. If this isn't for you, let's we'll say our goodbye, shall we? If it is, great. Let's call the decider to sign off. Who? Your husband. Hi. Let me ask you something. Your heart. A year? A year. 18 months. I know that guy from somewhere. Where do I know this motherfucker from? Fucking dumb son of a bitch. So long, man. Have a good trip. Fuck you! is a reflection of frugality rather than necessity. I guess in game, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Can I try? Please. Um, I'm thinking that arresting the white trash that almost killed my daughter and extracting the truth is hard time consuming work. Work which, if given a choice, like us, you'd gladly forego. So uh, my guess is that this all comes down to simple run-of-the-mill laziness. Shut up, Marty. How's that? What happened there? Are you an appointed or an elected official, Chef? Elected. And do the, the Langmores vote? Not historically, no ma'am. I would think that votes would be very valuable around here. Do they pay taxes? We do. Both. And? I put yeah, a deposit for down a home. home. Charlotte didn't get mixed up with Ruth Langmore. She's 19, smart, mean. As a criminal, her potential's as yet untapped. Bill? Hey, uh, you know how to pick up the uh, brothers Langmore? Wyatt? Three? Yeah, they're living with their dad, Russ. His trailer's in the cove. All right. Sheriff, you have a picture of Ruth? Yeah. 
she is a being a magician. Don't put down anything around her that you're fond of. Was that the chick at the, at the motel? Hey, why do I buy you a phone if you don't answer it? It's charging. Who <sighs> cleaned up and do? Did you let somebody in? No, I did it. You did? Yes. Thank you. Sorry. Everything okay? Do I ask that much of you, Charlotte? Damn! They lowered her they ass away. God damn! I know where they might have gone. I just don't know how to get there. What are you fishing for, son? I'm open to suggestions. Damn! truck or something, not with cash. IRS will be on your front doorstep first thing in the morning. All that is there is a lifetime supply of groceries and gas. That's all it is. Fucking A. Shut up. That's mine. And technically, I'm only responsible for it. Well, whose money is it? Technically. Oh, you don't want to know! Omar Navarro. Does that mean anything to you? No. Well, it should. Is Omar Navarro. He's the guy you need to worry about. Who is? Omar Navarro. Omar Navarro. What do you mean, technically? I mean, technically, it's not my money, it's his, and I'm, I'm responsible for it. Oh, you fuck think me. this through. You guys need to know how big this mistake you're making is. You have $8 million of some drug kingpin's money? That's right. What? Don't worry about that. The only question you guys need to be asking is, are you murderers? You steal that money, you're going to have to kill me. Because there's another man who works for Mr. Navarro, a very serious man. And he's going to come to town. He's going to ask me where that money is. And if I'm still alive, I'm going to have to tell him that the Langmores stole it. At which point, he's going to find someone with your last name and start removing their skin until he locates the rest of you. So you decide right now, once and for all, are you killers? You know, the case could be made that the disappearance of Mr. Bird and the redistribution of this money constitutes a good thing. He's aiding and abetting the sale of drugs. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Who knows how much pain and misery he's caused. Would cause. Would cause. To kids even. Okay. Now we won't be buying new cars and trucks off the lot. Fine. But Merle would be happy to sell a slightly used for cash, would he not? Oh, yeah. You think the IRS radars up the 70-inch Samsungs? I think not. We're never, ever going to get another opportunity like this. Who's the weak link here? Hmm? Who's got the big mouth? Who's the weak link with the big mouth and dates the trashy women? 
and drinks too much with the trashy men, who is it? Who's the irresponsible one that's gonna burn through theirs in like five years? And did you know that Missouri has the death penalty? So, unless you're prepared to kill a family member to keep yourself off death row, you're looking at constant, continuous, relentless pursuit for the rest of your life. Yeah, I'm out. Yeah. Three, five. Good choice. I'm sorry about Charlotte. Not good enough. We're taking a hundred grand. Mr. Navarro will take it back. Fifty grand. He'll take that too. Thirty. Nope. We're taking twenty thousand. Get twenty. It's a mistake. For our trouble. Without expectations. Okie doke. Deal with it. You deal with it. Or you can tell Mr. Navarro the truth. You are a poor steward of his money. Woo-wee! He gonna kill all these motherfuckers.
Can you say that? Say that. Say that to me. Where you want? Where you been? Where's your sweet water? Where's your dad? Where's your sweet water? 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 Where
That wall's got about 50 years worth of photographs. One specifically, this one right here with the kid and his dad and that great big fish. Hey, bartender, can I see that picture right there? His kid and his dad and that big fish. That's it. Thank you. Now, this is an illusion. Whoever took this photo told this kid to push this fish forward so it looked bigger in the picture because he wanted to make this memory as special as possible because he cared. That happens here. And you want to disrespect that? I don't think so. Now, I want you to apologize to that young man right now. You miserable redneck cocksucker. for a Mexican drug cartel. Shit, you're not. Hello, Mr. Diker. She was honest. Okay, you two, that was episode two. Another great episode. Another great episode. So much shit happened in this episode. God damn. Charlotte left. Where she was Lord, you know, you know how kids are, you know what I'm saying? But the Ruth girl, I think her name Ruth, the blind head chick, I think she's like the head leader or whatever. She's smart as fuck. But she got the other little boy to lure Charlotte away. Then the the other her brother wandered off, so they stole all the fucking money. Then Marty went and got the money back. They kept twenty grand. So he was going to off himself, then the insurance was going to pay his wife to take care of, you know, the family, whatever. He think he's better off dead, but he had a change of heart. So now he's going to try to launder the money, and he went to this one chick, and she was like, nah, fuck you. So he went to the bar, and this piece of shit motherfucker called the kid a, a retard, you know what I'm saying? Grown-ass man, you know what I'm saying? So... He he was right what he was saying, but he really got in that chick's head. You know what I'm saying? It was smooth how he did it, real smooth. So shit's shit's happening for him, but I know it's gonna be a lot of fucking drama because the old dude is staying in the fucking basement, and I know it's gonna be some fucking drama. I know it's going to be some drama. This show is like off the damn chain. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a really, really good fucking show. Like really fucking good. More people should be talking about this show. Well, they are. I mean, the recommendations for this show was off the chain. You know what I'm saying? And I see why. So I'm going to keep this party going. I love this fucking shit. It got me so into it. I'm intrigued. I, I'm really into the show. All right? It, it kind of reminds me of um, when I was starting um, Breaking Bad and Game of Thrones. When I was starting it, yeah, I, I didn't know what I was going to expect. But this shit is fucking good, man. This is a really good fucking show. No bullshit. So we're going to keep this party going. Y'all like, comment, subscribe. Keep hanging out with me. Episode 3 is coming. Ozark. I love y'all.
think I really need a pickup. Grab my guitar and a bottle of some liquor. Every day is like a different type of zone. I really love it when I can be all alone. I ain't happy, they left. I don't need nobody else. I don't need nobody's help. I feel waving by myself. Oh, I'm such a loner. I'm happy when I'm lonely. Them problems I don't wanna. This week has been so long, yeah.